YouTube and welcome back. So today's video is more of a thought of the day than anything else. Um, I read a quote uh, the other day by David Burnett that was satisfaction from working next to 500 photographers and coming away with something different. That's pretty much how I approach all my shoots. Um, pretty much any car event you go to, there's going to be a thousand other people taking photos, whether it's media, spectators, whatever. Uh, especially if I go to an event that I don't have a media pass on. I've got the same amount of access as everyone else. I've got the same um, point of view as everyone else. But the satisfaction I get from doing my photography and the images I, f I end up with finally is coming up with something different, thinking outside the box, approaching it from a different way, approaching it from a different angle. Um, even my editing after the fact, um, you know, how I edit photos, the, the different uh, techniques I put into that and the different looks I get from my photos compared to everyone else that looked at exactly the same subject. Um, whether it's getting a different angle, getting down low, shooting up high, shooting different details, the way I approach the details, the, um, the different separation I get. So I'm using, if I'm using a, a high aperture or a low aperture and getting separation from the background or blue in the background, um, you know, I'm getting crowd shots where I'm getting uh, slow shutter speed shots in crowds so I get people passing in front of cars, things like that. Just putting different, um, putting my own, my own spin on uh, on the, the subject that we're, that we're all looking at. Um, you'll see it quite often you know, after a car show or something, everyone's posting their photos and tagging the event in it. And it's literally every single photo looks the same from everyone because they've seen one bloke taking a photo, so they go and sit next to him and take the same photo. It's like, oh, it must be a good angle, so they go and take that photo. Or they're just point and shooting and not actually thinking about what they're doing, which is fine. and I have no issue with that at all. But as a photographer, as a creative, I like to try and make my photos and my images uh, uh, get set apart or, or look different to, to everyone else's and actually set themselves aside. Um, I know sometimes the edits I do and sometimes the, the shots that I do are a little bit not uh, standard, I suppose, uh, for some drift events and images and stuff, but that's fine. That's my art. If you don't like it, that's fine. That's subjective. Most people love it, some people don't, whatever. Um, even myself, like I'll look at it and I'll come back in six months' time and go, yeah, oh, what was I doing there? That was, a, that was a dumb phase. What were you thinking about doing the edit there? But at the time, I loved it. At the time, I changed how I edited. I'm like, oh, it's something different. You know, it's, it looks a little bit different, stands out. Um, and really kind of run with it for a little while and then I'll change my, how I'm editing things. I'll change how I'm shooting things, how I'm seeing things when I'm actually doing the shoot. Um, it's very, very subjective. Um, but... I suppose our job as a photographer is to capture what we enjoy. Uh, if you don't enjoy what you're shooting, your shoots aren't going to be good. They're not going to have a piece of you in the shots. And I do, I do genuinely believe that, that every, um, every photo you take as a photographer uh, leaves a little bit of yourself in the photo. Um, it leaves a little bit of your, your piece, a little bit of your emotion in that photo as to, to what you saw, how you felt on the day, what you portrayed, and that image kind of portrays what's going through your mind at the time and what you're, um, what you're experiencing at the time. And that is the whole point. It's trying to portray that. Still, photo's hard. Like it's video. You have the sound. You have the movement. You have everything else that's going on around. A photo is literally a single snapshot of time that you've got to portray a lot of emotion and a lot of feeling and a lot of um, scenario into or scene into to to get the viewer to experience what you experienced whilst you were taking that photo. You're taking that photo in real time, in movement, in sound, in a whole atmosphere, and you've got to portray that in one single still shot. Um, it takes a lot of it takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of skill to get yourself um, into that photo and get the the viewer uh, engrossed into that photo and experiencing the same thing you did when you were taking it. Um, so it's it just I just kind of felt like putting a bit of a thought of the day out. Something I don't do very often. Uh, it's something I want to do a little bit more. Sort of part of giving the behind the scenes and my thinking to shoots and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I do that all the time. Like when I, it's literally after, I know I've spoken about it before, looking at the light is literally the first thing I do. And that's one of the reasons. How can I make the light look different? How can I make the light bounce off this subject different to the guy standing next to me? Can I get down low and put the, you know, the sun behind the car as opposed to over the top of it and, and uh, overexposing my photo if I get down behind it, can I put a shadow on the car? Can I do this? Can I, it's, it's just trying to think outside the box a little bit and, Experiment, I suppose. That's the biggest the biggest tip I can give. Experiment every time you grab your camera, 
think of something different. It's funny, people will quite often give me weird looks when I'm at car events and stuff because I'm getting myself into some of the weirdest positions. I'm sitting on the floor, I'm laying down, I'm crouching, I'm twisting out behind barriers, I'm doing all sorts of weird positions just to get a slightly different angle than the next person and a slightly different angle on the car. But it pays off. My, my photos come out. I really love the photos I put out. No one else likes them. That's up to them. I love them. That's all that matters. Um, if I you know, if I didn't love what I was shooting, I'd be shooting something else. Uh, if I didn't love how my photos were coming out, I'd be changing how it goes because ultimately you've got to enjoy the photography you're doing. You've got to enjoy the subject you're shooting and you've got to enjoy the, the, the end result. If you don't like the end result, then it's not for you. Try for something else. Try different subjects. Try just shooting a different way. Use a different lens. Um, it's a re- one reason I shoot film. I keep looking over there because my film cabinet's over there, my film cameras. Um, it's one of the reasons I shoot film uh, is because it's something different. Uh, a lot of people don't shoot film. I actually want to start shooting. I actually want to try and shoot film a lot more for um, car events. Um, haven't done it. I've only really done a film for... Um, for static shots, not for moving shots. Uh, I do actually want to take it out there. I've got, I've got some newer, more electronic type film cameras that will handle the speeds. Uh, but then I also have some really old, uh, not so fast cameras, uh, which will take a fair bit of skill to uh, get right. Uh, we'll see how we go though. Uh, I do have, I actually wouldn't mind uh, next time I'm doing a big static shoot with uh, a car. Um, I wouldn't actually mind taking my big medium format camera. I have a big uh, six by seven uh, Mamiya uh, medium format. So your normal thirty-five mil uh, is, you know, size of a memory card. Uh, the anything quite to it. Uh, my medium format is, you know, that kind of size. Um, so the negative is a lot bigger. You get a lot more detail. Uh, I love it. The looks you get from it is just amazing. Um, haven't shot with it for, for quite a while, actually. It's been sitting there, I haven't had a subject to shoot. Um, so that's something I need to, to get out. Uh, but I actually wouldn't mind doing that with the car shoot, uh, doing some film photography of a car shoot. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, just something different. Again, something I enjoy, something different. Uh, trying to do it different than the next guy. Um, but yeah, I actually wouldn't mind trying to get out and do that. I'll, I might have an Anzac Day shoot coming up. I might throw the film camera in, uh, doing a lot of video uh, on Anzac Day as well. Um, obviously we're talking about that a lot in my last few videos uh, but I wouldn't mind getting some film as well just to, to try it out and see what happens so anyway guys that was my thought for the day uh, try and think different try and think out of the box try and make your photos yours and different to the next guy until next time see you later